Hello, we meet again on Chapter 15, Form 4, KSSM, Reproduction, Development and Growth in Humans and Animals. The content standard for today's lesson is on 15.6, Health Issues Related to Human Reproductive System, 15.7, Growth in Humans and Animals, the learning standard are 15.6.1, State the Meaning of Impotency, 15.6.2, Communicate about the causes of human impotency, 15.7.1, Explain the meaning of growth in human organism, 15.7.2, Determine the parameters to measure growth in humans and animals, 15.7.3 Describe the growth of insects with exoskeleton under complete metamorphosis and incomplete metamorphosis. Impotency. Impotency occurs when the husband and the wife are unable to have a child. The causes may come from the husband or the wife or maybe from both of them. So in this slide, we are going to see the causes of male impotency. The first reason may be due to the low sperm count. The second reason may be the sperm are unable to produce any sperm. And the third reason may be the sperm produced are low in quality or the shape is abnormal. The fourth reason is maybe due to the hormone imbalances. And the last reason is due to erectile dysfunction. The causes of female impotency. The first reason may be there is a growth in the uterus of the wife. The second reason may be due to the abnormal of uterus. The third reason, the ovaries of the wife may be do not produce secondary oocyte. The fourth reason, the same as the male impotency due to hormone imbalances. And the last reason, maybe the fallopian tube of the wife is blocked. Now, what are some possible treatment for impotency? So, we are going to see some of the treatment that can be used. For hormone imbalances, either to the wife or to the husband, they can get hormonal therapy. If the fallopian tube of the wife is blocked or the sperm duct for the husband is blocked, they can treat it via surgery. And the last one, they can also use in vitro fertilization for the woman who has blocked fallopian tube. The growth in organism, either humans or animals, is an irreversible process and it is permanent meaning you cannot reverse it back okay the growth actually involved the increase in the number of cells increase in size increase in volume and increase in the weight of the organism either humans or animals growth also involved the process of differentiation and cell specialization the parameters used in measuring growth, okay, either we can get the increase in size or volume or we can also use the changes in weight. For the changes in weight, we can use either the fresh weight, this is the normal parameter that we use, or we can also use the dry weight of the organism. For the dry weight of the organism, we have to extract the moisture out from the organism. The growth of insects can be divided into two, either complete metamorphosis or incomplete metamorphosis. For complete metamorphosis, before the insect become adult, okay, the insect have to undergo the three stages. The first one is egg. The next one, egg will become larvae. Larvae later will become pupa. And finally, pupa will develop into adult. For insects under incomplete metamorphosis, before the insect reach 
the adult stage, the insect have to undergo the stages of ecdysis. This is an example of an insect undergo complete metamorphosis. Okay, the example is on ladybug. Started with egg. Okay, egg will later become larvae. Larvae become pupa. Pupa later will become adult. And the cycle will continue. Grasshopper is an example of insect that undergo uh, incomplete metamorphosis. Whereby the grasshopper have to undergo the stages of ecdysis few times before it can reach to the adult stage. Now I keep on mentioning the word diasis. So now we are going to see an example of an insect that is grasshopper that undergo a series of ecdysis before it reach adulthood. So this graph show an intermittent growth curve. Intermittent growth curve meaning the curve is not smooth. So this one applies to the animals with hard skeleton. That is what we call as exoskeleton. Exoskeleton meaning the skeleton is outside and it is hard because it is made of chitin. Right? So to allow the growth and development for this type of animals, they have to shed off. They have to separate out their exo, their hard exoskeleton in order for the insect to grow. Now looking at the graph, the process of adiasis happen few times periodically and it is intermittent. Okay. The horizontal part of the graph, horizontal, this is horizontal. Okay, indicate there is no growth. At this stage, okay, known as instar, the insect does not increase in length, no growth at all during the horizontal line. Whereas for the vertical line, okay, vertical line represents rapid growth, sudden growth, right? Whereby the nymph now undergo the process of ectasis and increase its size rapidly, very fast. So this ectasis occur few times before it can reach to adulthood. The stages between ectasis is called as insta. So you have insta one, insta two, insta three, insta four, insta five for this graph before the insect become adult. During the insta period, the insect is actively building tissue and increase its body volume. Now, how a diasis happen? Okay, so the process start with the new exoskeleton will form underneath the old skeleton. Okay, the new one. Before the new exoskeleton become hardened, it will later become hardened actually. So before it become hardened, the insect will increase its volume by sucking in the air. Right? So the insect will suck the air to expand its body volume. So when the insect suck the air and it becomes bigger, this action will break the old skeleton and the insect with the new exoskeleton will emerge out. So you can see here, this one, the insect with the new exoskeleton. The old one, the old exoskeleton will be left out. So when the insect emerge out from the old exoskeleton, the insect will immediately expand its body one more time before the new exoskeleton become hardened. We have come to the end of our today's topic. So don't forget to like my video and also subscribe my channel. If you want to take a quiz on this topic, you may check the link at the more info section. There is a link for the quiz on this topic. Just click it. See you next time. Bye-bye.